Okay, now we're set to do the news bar section. And here's some really cool techniques I want to share with you. First of all, this is going to be news bar. We're going to make that header one, header one news bar. Now, again, it's defaulting. I want to use plain old simple English here, so I'm going to put a space here. It's going to be news bar. Now, this is defaulting to the parent tech H1. So in this particular case, I want to make this header text slightly different for the news bar section. So how can I do that? I select the tag and I make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. Now in this particular case, I want to say H1 when H1 is inside of news bar. And I hit OK. Now this is what I wish to do with my H1 tag. I want this to be a blue box with white type. So how can I do that? Very simple technique here. I can make my type white, the uppercase I like, the size, uh, I'm going to make the size a little bit smaller. I'm going to make the font size maybe be 20 pixels. So, so far, I, this happening. Okay, now it's white, so you can't see it. I want to put this on a blue background, the same blue background that the H1 tag has. So I can go to background and I can just sample the H1 color right there. Yeah, this happening. Now, important step here by default, the sidebar. I'm sorry, the news bar div tag had 10 pixels of padding. So before we go further here, we're just going to go to the box section here and we're going to give this five pixels of padding all the way around here. So I have this happening. Okay, because I don't want my news bar smashing up against the edge here. Now, for this to solve this problem here, we're going to go to margin space and to the right, we're going to say minus five to the right. Now, in this particular case, we have to go minus 10 because that was the padding for the news bar. So I just want to share with you, you can do negative margin space. So I could say negative 10 pixels to the right, and I could say negative 10 pixels to the left, and it fills in that space. How cool is that? Now, if you don't want a space at the top, if you want this news bar to go right at the bottom of your side of your site now, then you can do the same thing, minus 10 to the top. And there you go. There's the news bar section. The only thing I want to change here is from the left here. I just want to add four pixels plus four to the left. And there you go. There's your news bar. Now, what I want to have happen, I hit the return key here. Now it goes into my news section. I'm just going to copy and paste some text here. So I'm going to hit the return key, paste. There's my news. Now, in this particular case, I want this section here. I'm going to make this a separate paragraph. So I'm going to return key right there. So this is going to be command two. This is going to be header two. Header two. Now for header two, I want header two to have its own separate section. So it says news bar. This is simply not a div tag. It's simply an H1 tag. An H1 tag that's white, uppercase, background color. Now, in this particular case here, I want this to do the same thing. I want this to be white type with an orange background. So I would have a rule for the H1 tag. So how can I accomplish that? I select the tag and I make a rule. I make a rule for H2 when H2 is inside of news bar. So we're going to say that this type is going to be white, uh, uppercase, I'm sorry, Capitalize is fine. We're going to make the background be the same color as that orange color that we picked. So I get this happening. Okay. Now, in this particular case, I don't want this smashing up against the news bar. So I go to the box section here and I say, I'm going to, from the top here, I'm going to put in 10 pixels from the top. And I want to do the same thing. I want this to go left to right. So I say minus 10 to the right minus 10 to the left. You understand where I'm getting these numbers from? The news bar div tag itself had 10 pixels of padding to the left and the right. Now I want to keep the 10 pixels of padding for the paragraphs, but I don't want to keep it for the site nav. I'm sorry, for the H2 tag. Okay, now the only thing I have to do here is I want to go and put in, say, 10 pixels of padding. So I get something like that happening. Okay, pretty cool. Now the only thing here, I don't want this orange box stacking up against this paragraph. So from the bottom here, we're just going to put in, say, 
five pixels at the bottom. Just give a little bit of space. Now here's the cool part. So if this is going to be the news section sub, so here's my news bar, and here's the news title for that particular section. So now all I have to do is copy and paste this. And there is my news bar section. Very simply done. These are not separate div tags. This is simply, uh, the only thing I'm going to do here is make this be a little smaller here. The H2 tag, we're going to make this a little smaller. Let's make that 18 pixels. It could change. Save a change. Okay, so aesthetically that looks really cool. Now again, if you don't feel like you want this space here, which I'm looking at it more and I'm thinking, okay, I don't want that space here. So I would go to the news bar section here. From the top, I would do nothing because by default is going to default right to the top. So it's going to be news bar followed by the news story, news story, news story, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a simple way to do this. Now, important step here, understand the reason that, that news bar falls under site nav is because site nav's parent tag is sidebar. So sidebar is floating to the left. Very important step here. And this is a simple mistake to make here. If you want content, if you want a div tag on top of a div tag on top of a div tag, but other div tags. So notice that sidebar doesn't have the float. News bar doesn't have the float. I'm sorry, site nav doesn't have the float. News bar doesn't have the float. Sidebar has the float. So sidebar has the float that's floating to the left to let main content to go to the right. So that's how I got this div tag on top of that div tag. So once you understand that system, then you can start wrapping div tags inside of div tags inside of div tags. The parent div tag is one that would have the float. The child div tag doesn't need a float. So these don't need to have floats, okay? Now, aesthetically, if you look at this, if you go back to the hyperlinks here, let's say, well, that looks kind of a little strange with this padding to the left and the right. So I can do the same thing. I can go back to the A tag, A tag for site now. I can double click and I can simply say box to the left, box to the right. So box to the right, negative 10 pixels, box to the left, negative 10 pixels. So I can basically do that. Pretty cool. Okay. Now, if you feel that you don't want to have this yellow background here, then how would you solve that? Very simply, I would go to background color, make my background color for the site nav. So I would say site nav's background color, background color is going to be white. Don't confuse white with, with none. None is default, defaults to transparency. Okay, make a change, save a change. Good habit to get into.